It's my starry night. Starry night. Soda. says crisp clear burst of lemon lime flavor well that ain't no joke that's not no joke thank you thank you thank you mr starry i was thirsty appreciate you i appreciate you didn't know by now this is called oh throat sound this is a real this is a real gem of a of a show this episode is killing me uh this is called the original surprise bag the original so there must not be any others that would be considered the original just this one it is Full of, supposedly full of surprises and candy and fun and toys. So I saw this and thought, wow, God, that's a lot of stuff. I want. I want some toys and surprises. <laughs> so let me get on that and purchase one. So I did this and bring it to you to share. I hope it's not a massive bummer. So, um, just so you if you want to know. On the back it says it says the original surprise bag candies and toys and much more for girls and boys it says hi my name is mr. surprise 
I'm filled with candies and toys for girls and boys. Inside, you'll find a story of my adventures as I travel around the world in search of new and exciting candies and toys. I hope you like what I brought you. From the most exciting variety of the world's best surprise bag. Quotes, the surprise bag with the most variety of candies, toys, and fun. Copyright. Also, if you'll notice, you can collect surprise points and get a free gift from Mr. Surprise if you do so. Be sure that you turn your package over and on the back you will find your surprise point. Be sure to cut this out and remove it and save it. You can collect them for a free gift from Mr. Surprise. I don't know how many you must have to get your gift. Let's see. It says with multiple surprise bag purchases plus shipping and handling. But where? Oh, see inside. See inside for more surprise power. So there must be more information available once we get in there. Um, its nutritional facts include it says one servings per customer. Plural. Servings size is one package, which is 26 grams with 100 calories per one package servings. Plural. This is 0% of the recommended daily value um, for your fats, both saturated trans and sodium, zero. Uh, you do get 8% of your total carbs for the day at 23 grams, with 15 of those being total sugars and 19 uh, added sugars, which then equals a total of 30% of your total carb sugar intake, I think is what that says, and then zero protein. So just be sure you're watching your, watching your calories there. Um, oh, and the ingredients, if you want to be involved in that, so, um, the ingredients include sugar, corn syrup, glucose syrup, dextrose, lactose, palm oil, water, citric acid, malic acid, apple juice, and it contains 2% or less of natural and artificial flavors gelatin, carbon dioxide, sodium citrate, gum arabic, artificial colors, FD and C, red 40, red 40, lake, red 3, blue 1, blue 1, lake, yellow 5, yellow 5, lake, yellow 6, yellow 6, lake, and carnab or no bow wax. And that's the end of the uh, ingredients for you. The package I'm holding here is distributed by the Foreign Candy Company, Inc., located in Hull, Iowa. Interesting. And send your ideas for future surprise bags to Mr. Surprise it, uh, in Surprise Bag Land. P.O. Box 1, Hull, Iowa, Hull, H-U-L-L, -L, Iowa, 51239-0001. Candies may be products of Argentina, Brazil, Chile, France, Holland, Mexico, South Africa, Spain, Taiwan, or Germany. Toys are products of the USA, Italy, or China. And I can see they've completely excluded Canada from this list. I mean, what? You know, it's weird. I'm not from Canada. I just think it's funny because we're attached, you know. But, okay. Uh, the 
the copyright is under uh, Mr. Surprise, the name and the character, which is this this guy right here. Woo! Mr. Surprise, Mr. Surprise from Iowa. Um, <clears throat> his name and character are federal trademarks applied to for and owned by the foreign exchange, wait, foreign candy company, Inc. in Iowa. Um, just keep that in mind. Okay, I'm ready to bust into it. Let's see what he's got in there. Let's see if it's going to be worth it or not. I'm a little anxious. Spaceman? <laughs> I can't tell. To me it looks like somebody on standing on the moon like putting his something in the ground. Or maybe it's a baseball player. What is it, Lizzie? It's two peop it's two shower heads showering over um right beneath the uh Great Egypt pyramid. Isn't that looks like two shower heads, spraying showers, uh, right underneath the Pyramid of Giza. Um, I believe it is. And then it says Deputy Sheriff. So it's probably the Deputy Sheriff of the Showers of Giza. I guess. I mean, what else could it be? Pretty sure those are showers. Hmm. Or two alien ships. Uh, that just landed also right underneath the pyramids, of course, because that's where they go. Thankfully, they're not here in Iowa. <laughs> I'm not in Iowa either. I'm just kidding. So anyway, neat. I love this. I'm going to put this on. So then I can be... Let's see. Will it even go on? There's like this little spot on my shirt to hold pens. So I think I can put Seems like it's stuck shut. Hold on. Hold on, people. It was. I was not kidding. How did I know this was a thing that it was stuck? Okay, sheriffs, deputies. you know what? A real sheriff wouldn't give up. They'd get that damn thing on, no matter what it took. <laughs> I can't seem to get it to go on there. Maybe I need a tool like a... I don't even know how to make it open. I need to pull on it a little bit more. If I snap it off, though, it's going to suck.
We're just gonna have to be very, very cautiously diligent here. Okay, one more time. One more time for the team. Okay, SOB. Just do what I say. insanely hard. Oh my god. Who comes up with this stuff? Not even appropriately hard. It's just miserable. Okay you guys, it's part way on. <laughs> I don't want to move because So what I'm going to do when I'm done with this, I'm going to write a letter. <laughs> I'm going to write a letter to Mr. Surprise and I'm going to say, so did you guys do any, uh, did you do any kind of QA testing on your products before you shipped them out to people and suspecting individuals like myself who actually expected to be able to put on said you know sheriff's badge because of course I've always wanted to be a sheriff so I mean my dream was about to come true and then you literally like effed me by making this like badge totally useless I just want you to know that's wrong and that I'm devastated <laughs> I mean, F you motherfuckers. I just put a hole in my shirt with my own bed. And then it fell off again. Okay. Well, I think I'll just wear it as a necklace. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, who? Look at the design of this thing. I mean, how long did I take me? Like 15 minutes, I never got it on. It's, it's this little thing which resembles a clasp of sorts. And so you see it from the side and you see these little, little teeth along there and you're thinking, yeah, I can, I can put something on, you know, slide that in there. There's even some daylight coming through there. Uh, yeah, no, no, it's not happening. You can try if you want, uh, but unless this is, I mean, like, I just, I just want to snap it off, but then that's not any good. Hmm. I think it's better to be in probably a necklace, I guess. And just... <sighs> well, anyway, god dang. I will not be in charge of anything today, so we'll just put that aside. This is so where our surprises have been so far. We got this. what else we got. So let's rate these. Let's rate these. Because I think we should. Okay. So first of all, we know we just got the should say it's um a 
this doesn't actually stick on the back of this either. It's kind of a poor design, but full of complaints. Okay, so this is the review. We're gonna do the ratings review. Ratings. Ratings. Review. ASMR style. Of the surprise bag. Bag. Okay. Number one, the first item we opened the sheriff's badge. Sheriff's badge. I'm gonna rate this if we're gonna go rating scale one to ten. What one being the best, ten being the or ten being the best, one being the worst, what? Do ten being the best? Okay. I'm gonna say this was a two. It equals two. Two as in as in not great. So our scale is 1 to 10, and 10 is the high point, best, 1 is the worst. There we got that all sorted now. The sheriff's badge is a big fat, Brr, 2, 2, so we'll just say we know that that's in the hot zone because it's not good. So we'll just put that in this kind of orange box. That's not so good. Okay. Because <laughs> the worst is like going to be red. And the dim is going to be, I don't know. Maybe the best can be. Can you tell I'm kind of excited because I like this stuff? I've never had it. I mean, not this kind, but that kid, he's like looking wild there. I wonder if this is what I will look like once I eat these. It is a possibility. He's cute and with a little pointy head. So, okay, let's get in there. So this says, this is by the Foreign Candy Company. These are from China. Okay. <clears throat> I guess I'm just gonna risk it. Who knows what? All right. Well, one pouch of these is five calories, so just know that uh, that's gonna be taken off my lunch. My lunch today. Berry. It says berry flavor. All right, kid. Let me see what's in there. Could I just rip off the top or what? I guess so. It doesn't matter. Or is it just you go from the bottom? It doesn't really say. It's very confusing. I don't really give you much to pull on, do I? Maybe 
Let me just rip it. Oh, here we go. Just waiting for that to break off and ricochet across and hit me in the head, you know, I'll smack myself on the forehead trying to open that thing. <clears throat> Let's see what's in there. There's something else in there. You know, just a pop rock in there. I guess that's them. I thought there was like it's empty, so I guess that was the um <clears throat> these are the pop candies after shocks popping candies in here. Boy, that's a crackly bag, isn't it? kind of fascinating. Slightly goes against my moral values with ASMR because I'm not big into food sounds on that, but I guess that's all you gotta do. Oops. I think I spilled these. Well, they like didn't come out of the bag. What the heck? They're still in there. Come on. Okay, that was all it was. Very small amount. So number two was the aftershocks. We'll just say pop.
say on a scale of 1 to 10 on that, that was probably a, that'd be like a 7. It's really nice. 7. Can I give a high score? 7 as in really nice. That's kind of my view. I liked that. Nice job, surprise man, Mr. Surprises. Let's see what else you got in your bag. Okay, so we had the aftershocks. And then the patch. Next. Okay, we got ourselves a, it appears to be a temporary tattoo of a blue uh, dinosaur potentially sitting on, I don't know what that's, what he's on there, piece of dirt, um, maybe he's sitting on a, maybe some bark, I don't really know, do you recognize this guy? Maybe that's Mr. Surprise. Maybe he's a dinosaur, technically. I don't know. Okay, that's kind of a, you know, I mean, come on, guys. We can get these anywhere. Not very special, in my opinion. I'm, I'm not prepared to stick this on my body because I'm not sure I want to represent this. Uh, I don't know what he's doing, but. Okay, temporary tattoo is number three. Three. Three is the temp tattoo. Tattoo. We're going to say on a scale of one to ten. Boy, that's going to be a three. Pretty disappointing. Pretty. Pretty much disappointing. agree. I mean, come on. Number three. Okay, let's do this. Moving on to number four. Number four. We will give this a try and see if it tastes any good. Let's see. I don't know how to get it open. <laughs> I think I need scissors. Don't you? Tastes like, well, I don't know. Kind of tastes like a little bit like perfume. It might be my hand lotion too, though. Okay. Pixie. 
Pixie stick. Mm, it's kind of like a medium. I'm going to say that's a five, four. Probably four. It wasn't very surprising. So far, I thought that the, well, the shot candy was probably the best. So number four was Pixie stick. And I'm going to say, man, on a scale of one to ten, I'm going to go four. Four. Good reason. Because it was kind of meh. Just quote meh there. Meh. Moving on here to the number five in the surprise bag by Mr. Surprise and the International Candy Company in Iowa. Well, here we see it right there. That was easy. It is a candy lollipop. That's kind of nice though. I do like the color blue. So, I mean, you know. Oh, it just ripped open so I guess I know I'm going to eat it. Okay. I wasn't really planning on eating all of it. I suppose I have to try them though in order to really rate it properly, so. For this lolly. Okay, I'll try it. Mm. Oh, weird. I think it's coconut. Mm -hmm. I can't say I found it real great. Okay. Let's try it down. I don't know. I'm saying that's a five. So the number five was Lolly. Like pop blue. That's funny that my ratings are like equaling the numbers, but it's not supposed to really do that. It just happens to be a fluke five. So moderately okay, moderately decent. That would be my comment on the side. Mod decent lolly. We did okay. Number six. I how many things we get in here. This is, must be our little some goofy letter he writes. Oh, and there's a game on the back. Okay. Safety tip. Brains don't heal like cuts or broken bones. Always wear your helmet every time you ride your bike. Hey, and there's some more of those uh, surprise points inside so you can cut this one out as well as the one on the package. <clears throat> and here he says, Adventures of Mr. Surprise. When I was just a little baggy, I lived in the cupboard. Every day, a kind old woman would give me a yummy piece of candy and a treasured toy. Before long, I grew to become a big bag filled with surprises. One day, the old woman opened the cupboard door and she carefully brought me down from the shelf and asked the little boy to reach into my bag. You should have seen the wonderful smile on his face when he pulled out his surprises. From that moment on, I knew I had to leave my cupboard and surprise the children all over the world. So I packed my bags with candy and toys and gave the kind old woman a peppermint kiss and began my adventure. Now, as my travels take me to faraway places, I find great candy and toys and send them home to Surprise Bag Land 
where they go into my surprise bags for you to enjoy. You can help me by telling me what you'd like to see in future surprise bags. Send your ideas to Mr. Surprise at Surprise Bag Land, P.O. Box 1, Hull, Iowa, 51239-0001. Love, Mr. Surprise, formerly known as Covered Bag Boy. <laughs> Covered Bag Boy, I guess what you call it then. Anyway, what a charming and heartfelt story. Very touching, you guys. If you want to write in, I'm going to write in and say, you guys need to revisit your, uh, your molding and your die cast system for this tariff's badge. It's really kind of subpar, don't you say? Let's see what they say about that. All right. That's really not number six, is it? I'm not going to count it. Although I probably should. What's this crap? Another book. Oh, it's a coloring, coloring and activity book number three, number three. So is there two more? I wonder if the other two come in different. Oh, cute. You have um, a little maze there. Oh, a hangman, that's fun. Find a friend and then try to stump each other with a word. I used to play hangman, I loved that game. Color by number. Boy, he's really freaking out. That picture is somewhat disturbing. Uh, and then there's the word fill in the letters. Mr. Surprise is going to the beach to help him fill in the blanks. So he knows what he will see. I would say sharks and sunburns, which you're going to see there. I have no idea. I've been to very few beaches in my lifetime. No ocean beaches. That's so Okay, and then there's, what's the difference? Like, find the, the different picture of Mr. Surprise. And then we have scrambled words, mixed up letters, and can you unscramble them? In spite of being an English major in college, I will tell you, I find these kinds of games difficult when it's a word mixed up like that. I have a hard time. My brain seems to struggle with deciphering what, what the possibilities could be. And they're usually fairly simple, and yet they'll be lost on me as I struggle to figure out what the heck could you spell with Nidsidza, you know, Repusier. I just, it's hard for me to figure it out, but my dad is an excellent, excellent at those puzzles. And as fun as that looks, I'm not ready to play it today. Um, there's two more surprise points, though, hey. So keep your eyes peeled, you guys, because you these things could pop up anywhere. So we're going to call this the coloring activity book number three. And I know I didn't play the games, you know, but I can say that they looked kind of fun. I'm going to put that on a... That's weird. I was going to say six, but now I feel like that's weird to say because this is going along with the same number as the... That's weird. Okay, so this is the coloring activity. I'm going to say uh, well, I'll just say seven I'm going to push it because I feel like I need to break this thing that's happening this pattern I'm going to go seven because you know it's kind of like well, we got a lot of stuff in there nice activities, nice games educational so I feel like that's where this extra point Makes sense. I have talked myself to the logic. Now we got number seven coming up. Well, there's a couple of things left in there. I don't know what, but maybe just one thing. Just to be super sure. 
Okay, so that's the end of the surprise bag. We got two things left here. And it is the the original surprise bag sticker man sticker of the sticker. Surprise, these are surprises right here. He just looks insanely stoked about everything. This expression is just bursting, like he's just maxed happy. He's probably really, really wacky on sugar. I mean, he seemed friendly enough. He's got these big exclamation points that are just popping up, you know, and then he's got his head ripped, half ripped off, like, come in, get in there. Get some candies and some toys, kids. Who knows what all he's got? Once is where it I am a fan of stickers. I think stickers are always nice uh, to include in any kind of surprise treat toy thing. So I would say... And thank God that sticker works because the bad shirt didn't. Okay. I'm gonna put that seven, I mean that's like between a seven and an eight, seven sticker to me, just because I think those are always fun, but I don't know if it's better than the activity book, so I'll we'll see, sticker, sticker, I mean, it seems like it's okay, but let's just put it at, what am I going to say also seven, because there's nothing that says we can't have the same rating on another item, number seven, because stickers are It looks dang sour. It's kind of white looking. <laughs> oh, shit. It's popping out of there like a maniac. Here's my candy. There's a truckload of sour right here. Do not. freaking out, you know, like, I think a Sour Patch Kid has got more tartness, so I guess maybe I was just a little nervous for no reason, but rest assured it is not an eye, you know, burning, eye-watering kind of sour, just kind of tart. So I'm gonna say, though, that's really good. It's pretty tasty, and it's a cute name, Truckload of Sour, and it's pink. I'll say eight. Is that the best thing on the thing? I think it is. I mean, it's got a win for color. 
flavor and cute name. Those three things. start crunching it because I don't know just happened so I'm gonna go for it oh my god sneak attack sour because <laughs> I've been <clears throat> I just been in that thing and it was like kind of like a little juke gel center and then boy it was tart there for a second definitely made my cheeks pucker which is fine I mean it wasn't insanely bad but just a little bit so that, that definitely makes me feel like it, the eight is good and actually I think we could go 8.5 just because that was fun I mean even though I wasn't expecting it I was a little bit freaked um because I didn't know how bad I was gonna get but um you know I think at least it was a good kind of fun good surprise and it didn't turn out to be horrible and taste horrible so the winner oh wait which was the worst Okay, I gotcha. 10 was the best one to wear, so I did that right. 8.5 chocolate sour, so 8.5. So the winner of the ratings review for ASMR of the surprise bag today is the chocolate of sour uh, candy coming in at 8.5 out of 10, with 10 being the best, one being so we can just say, and the seven popping candy came in a close second, and third with the activity book and the sticker. I could probably drop a sticker down to a six. That, folks, is my review of the original surprise bag where candy and toys are in there for girls and boys with new stuff in every bag. Ages four and up, don't forget to send your suggestions and comments to Mr. Surprise in Iowa. P.O. Box 1. If you need the address, you can always check with him. Don't forget to collect your surprise points. You could be in for some good stuff if you collect enough of them. And I want to thank you on behalf of Mr. Surprise and all the candies that we have yet to try might be hopefully slightly better than the ones we just did. Uh, I wish you all well and have a wonderful, peaceful, and hopefully not surprise-filled day, because those can be kind of, wow, you know, for me, I'm just not so much into that. <laughs> but I hope that you guys enjoyed this kind of ridiculous video, and it was a little bit of fun for you. We're just going to put this in the category of comedic what we should call it. It's definitely not like in any of the other category that I have currently, so maybe it's, well, I guess it is. It's probably in the show and tell one point of view show and tell, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Point of view show and tell. Okay, kids. Thank you.
you so much for watching this silly video. I hope that it finds you well and you're all staying happy and healthy the best you can. When you're not feeling happy and healthy, that you give yourself the space and the grace to go through that feeling and let it pass as it will and always does. Whether it feels like it A little less difficult, a little less messy, a little more peaceful. So that's what I wish for you guys tonight, today, tomorrow, every day. Thanks for watching. You're the best. Thank you. Like and subscribe, please, if you would. Would you be so inclined? And I'll see you again very soon. See you soon.